A very warm good evening to all of you. Welcome to the 124th session of Sinta's webinar series for teachers. I hope all of you are keeping safe and staying healthy. In this session, we will explore the art of storytelling from Ms. Saba Mirza. Saba Ma'am is a highly enthusiastic teacher trainer with a vast and multi layered experience of teaching, learning, and teacher training. Blended technology and hands on activity with her super energetic style is her forte. She has 18 years of collective teaching and teacher training experience in army schools across the country, Delhi Public School, and Quality Assurance and Innovation Department of uh, City Montessori Schools, Lucknow. She is currently working as a freelance educational, education consultant with Army Schools, MR Jaipuria Group of Schools, and a resource person with Oxford University Press. I welcome you, Matt. And I hand over the session to you now. Everybody around the world, we're gonna say hello in many ways. Everybody around the world, we're gonna say hello in many ways. Everybody meet somebody. Look at them and see just what they say. Can I get a fist bump? Fist bump. Can I get a fist bump? Can I get a fist bump? A fist bump. Can I get a fist bump? Can I get a high five? A high five. Can I get a high five? Can I get a high five? A high five. Can I get a high five? I just want to say hello. I just want to start a trend. I just want you to know. It's nice to meet you. I want to greet you. Let's celebrate being friends. Can I get a very happy good evening, a happy new year, belated happy independence. Republic Day, not independence. Every time you do that. Oh, sorry, sorry, teachers. Actually, sometimes it happens with me. So, my dear teachers, I am here for you again. I must be saying hello to you in various ways. So, first of all, I want to talk about the art of storytelling. Can anybody tell me what is it? What all one needs to learn? Please uh, write something in the chat window. So, when anybody talks about storytelling, we think that no, I'm not so creative. I cannot draw. I cannot make props. I just cannot do voice modulation. I have a stage fear. I can't speak. My pronunciation is not good. My grammar is not up to the mark. I can't make facial expressions. I can't make body gestures. I can't be a storyteller. So I want to tell you one secret, teachers. Are you a wanderer? Are you creative? Are you caring? Do you share good practices with other teachers? Do you love? Do you want to spread happiness? Yes or no? Do you love children? So you are the right person to start storytelling. Although you must be doing it in your classroom. And today I will talk about some tips and tricks and you all must be knowing better than me. Why? Because you all are teaching children. 
so you are learning from them you are learning from net you are learning from so many tools and today we'll talk about some technological tools to handle to make storyboards to create wonderful stories online <clears throat> right teachers so simran ma'am can you share my uh, video with them i made this video on canva and i made my logo also can you see my logo yeah so teachers uh using free account one can make stories presentations videos cards certificates logos on canva on storyboard on story weaver we can write stories so we will go one by one and we'll talk about art of storytelling what i will do in one hour what you want from me we'll cover everything so when the question art of storytelling comes what comes in your mind please type can i see the chat can i see the comments simran yeah yes 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 good evening ma'am thank you so much now i can see so what what are your expectations from this session can anybody tell me yeah so you must have heard about this term big idea what is the ultimate goal what is the ultimate purpose of storytelling and what is there in your mind that today i am going to because in such a busy hectic schedule of webinars and meetings and sessions and zoom and google we all are literally tired so i want to tell you whatever you want tailor made work curiosity engage student convey yeah so you people are talking about the big ideas behind the storytelling so i will tell you what i am going to cover using all your points new learning art of telling stories everything but in one hour how will i do it i'll tell you so big idea is the big goal ultimate purpose of that particular thing it can be engaging it, it includes engagement it, in, it includes creativity it includes good or oration skills public speaking so what i need i want to the learning outcome that i want from you through this session is you should know the rationale of storytelling the purpose of storytelling the need of storytelling why a lot of people think that a lot of mumbo jumbo exotic mumbo jumbo is around this world that this word storytelling means that people are talking in corporate in business in schools in everywhere storytelling this is my story this is my story on linkedin on facebook so i want to tell you four things the first thing you should know the need of this term storytelling the second is you have to you should know how to evaluate a story how to evaluate evaluate a story whether the story is good or not what i am giving to my children i have something in my mind particular topic in my mind to teach them so how will i feel that this particular story is right how will i prepare my story as i prepared my story for today so i have made something in the background i put some black lines and some red lines on my face to look a little crazy so i have prepared something for you to present in a different way to present to engage you to attract your attention to take your attention to sustain it till one hour because what happens in online it happens that people 
they just leave and it becomes very depressing for the orator for the speaker that people are leaving so to hook the audience to hook your students to to hook you people i i have done some preparation a lot of preparation i was so excited today so teachers four things if you know after this session my learning outcome will be achieved first thing you should know the rationale of the storytelling second you evaluate the story prepare a story and present a story although the timing are very less but one by one briefly we'll talk about these points and i know that will i'll get excellent inputs from you all yes teachers i can see you yeah so teachers first of all we'll talk about what all you get from storytelling when you conduct storytelling in your classes when you teach some concept using storytelling then what all you get you get you engage them you influence your children you inform them some particular message some particular topic you communicate with them you inspire them by looking different sometimes you wear a costume sometimes you wear you wear a headgear sometimes you don't do anything just body gestures storytelling was used to pass cultures to persuade people in business in big multinational companies they they use it for the sales pitch do you know the story of amul that you daily eat just read it today and start reading the stories of big big companies big brands nike story flipkart story amazon lakme revlon every brand has a story every small to little brand has a story so these are some online tools we'll talk about these tools one by one first let me finish the presentation and then we'll talk about these tools quickly first is canva that i told you in the beginning i made this video on canva only second is a storyboard in which you can make beautiful storyboards you can make your own stories your children can make your their stories using javascript even a non coder any person can make it story bird you can read a lot of stories you can create stories you can write stories you can read stories story weaver you can weave stories and a few few apps also i want to show you fantastic magic state fairy tales and jambo i know you must be aware about these tools and these are the few links that i will give you once you fill the feedback of this session i will give you the links of the various tools that i use for storytelling because now things have changed a lot many props also with so many things you have to have learn some digital tools a tale of two cats so we talk about integration of arts and stories in our concepts in our various disciplines so this is a story i will tell you after this presentation that how to teach english how to teach a particular concept using a story a tale of two cats an old cat and a cute chubby cat i will tell you this so that is why i want you to understand even the senior teachers who are teach who are taking uh, senior classes middle school teachers primary teachers and pre primary like they they love to 
learn so many new things but now after new education policy or everybody has to integrate art in various subjects so these are few points that your story should have your story should be brief there they should be small simple brevity humor should be there in your story without humor everything is useless suspense should be there a little bit suspense some the children should look at the storyteller's face that what's next what's next evocation you have to evoke their responses you should elicit their responses by taking your story up and down empathy you can teach a lot many values through storytelling so these are the ingredients of good story and teachers when you add these things to your stories believe you me your stories will rock and everyone sitting here is a beautiful storytelling teller why because you all are you, you all want to spread love you all want to share and these are the various types of stories fables legends myths saga folk tales fairy tales we all have heard about these various forms from various teachers and as a teacher we tell our children that this is saga this is a myth story this is a folk tale this is a fairy tale and they are quite interchanging story space so story space says and props are very important teachers especially for pre primary and primary teachers why because the story space set the context of the story telling because when when you have come here you must have joined uh, in a very busy schedule i know everybody is very busy so teachers let me go back yeah so story space and props when you set a story space it's not possible for you to create a story space daily in your classrooms but once in a week putting something related to the topic doing something telling children to make something related to the topic setting the context is the most important thing teachers using props when you use props it really make children happy they feel good they want to they also want to make and prepare props props so sound clips the third thing is sound clip sound clips everybody is not a perfect voice over artist nobody because voice over people they are doing some different jobs they are doing voice over job they they are working over there but as a teacher you are a cook you are a mother you are a teacher you are a friend you are a photographer you are a video editor you are a graphic designer you are a content writer you are everything you are a counselor so how can you be having a perfect voice over so when you are telling stories keep some sound clips handy with you some musical background to make your stories engaging yeah so these are the three things i want to emphasize upon the story space is the most important thing and right now can you tell me can you type in the chat box what kind of story space you can you see here and what kind of costume you can see what comes in your mind yeah so this is a, a storytelling i did it long back in cms school and uh, this is a storytelling using finger uh, thread puppets so thread puppet i will show you i'll show you one by one everything teachers whatever i'm talking about online tools i'll show you i'll show you story space i have already uh, you can see the background that is story space the thread puppets i'll show you and you will find better thread puppets jungle scene jungle scene good evening everyone yeah thank you so much animal story so you you uh, can do a 
uh, an addition. I did one addition story using this uh, thread puppet. So this is one way, and you you can involve uh, ask your children to make beautiful puppets, simple puppets instead of a lot of hard work and craft work. But it it will really help them to learn complex co uh, concepts if you use it in the classroom. Now, the storytelling using hand puppets. Hand puppets, I'll show you some. This is a finger puppet. This is a hand puppet. So teachers, can you see? <laughs> yeah. So hand puppet, you can use hand puppet, you can use thread puppet. Some more ideas I'll give you. Finger puppets. Finger puppets. So teachers, just see this. So you can make your, and you can use some uh, concepts, like if you're teaching plants, if you're teaching animals uh, to your children, you can create your story around the, that particular concept. One more thing I'll show you, shadow play. After this, I'll show you finger puppet, I'll show you thread puppet, I'll show you shadow play, everything I'll show you, right? Yeah, this also I did in CMS, long, long back. So teachers, I will show you the technique to do this. And you can start very difficult, very difficult and complex uh, concept using this. It's not that that every day you have to do something very difficult and make your class, decorate your class. It's not possible. Once in a month, once in a week. This I'm, uh, can you see the costume? So you can use costumes also. You can use headgears. Just see this headgear. Long, long back I made this. So this, this uh, you can use so many things to give power to your stories. Do you want to see my hen that lays golden eggs? Can you see this? With two things, you will just inspire your children to write a story, a new story with a twist. Thank you, teachers. Now, story stones. I will show you story stones, some story stones, and you will guess which story is this. Please write. Please write the name of the story. Now, I will show you story cubes. I took it from an Oxford book, My Learning Frame. These, you can use your old books to narrate a story. And you, children can make, they love to make. We often talk about experiential learning. Storytelling using tangrams. Storytelling using shape cards. Children, just, just, just wait, 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 wait. It's going too fast. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we talk about, teachers, we talk about We talk about tangram stories, we talk about uh, experiential learning. So, teachers, you can ask them to 
give them various shapes and ask them to make different animals and write their story thank you so much thank you teachers i love you all i love you all yeah so teachers now this is doodle story telling recently i i learned this i was not everybody is learning for the entire life so now i request you to just doodle a story just doodle a story if you have teachers so uh, what how how you use doodle story in your classroom suppose you are telling them story once upon a time there was a crow and the crow was very thirsty so this time i am not going to make my crow thirsty i want to make him tired because he was tired of online sessions he was tired of webinars he was fed up with this lockdown so what happened the crow it's a very common story and old story and so many teachers must have heard this from me and this is one of my most favorite story you are telling the story and and teachers are you drawing are you doodling it are you doodling it teachers just doodle a crow who was very tired and frustrated and fed up so the old story says he was thirsty and he looked for water here and there at last some a pot of water and he, he, but the water was very less he put some pebbles those story pebbles in the pot and the water came up the truth but our story is different so you are doodling my story not this story card story so very common in old story so uh, thank you so much i can see some of my friends but i am not taking the names yeah thank you friends so teachers so the crow was very tired and fed up of online story sessions and online webinars and online classroom teachings he was tired so what did he do he looked here and there and he could not find anything there was no pot because now the tradition of the culture of pot keeping pot mud pots is gone almost gone so he he could not see anything and there was no pebble also so what what did he see he saw something can you see what is this can you read it please write in the chat can you write in the chat the the crow was a very uh, help free what did he see please write in the chat please write this is yakult excellent pia malik and akil yusuf so he saw a, a bottle of yakult and he looked here and there but there was no pebble he saw a straw he put it in the yakult bottle and start taking it mm mm it's so yummy ah aaj kuch toofani karta hai dhadkan ke joshile rocket chura ke boring pe daring ka jacket chura ke आज 
उसका प्लान था तीस मिनट का रास्ता तीन मिनट का बना दिया और कल कल कुछ और तो फानी करेंगे यस टीचर्स एवरी डे वी हैव टू डू समथिंग टू पानी इन माइंड इन आवर माइंड For senior classes, also teachers, I'll see. I'll talk about something. I'll show you the story of two tales, senior teachers. So, teachers, a pinch of music, a pinch of some props, like Yakut bottle, thumbs up tin, anything, any healthy junk foods. You are teaching so many concepts, and you can use anything, any damn thing that comes in your mind. Your crow can be. frustrated crow a tired crow a hungry crow a fat crow a thin crow a crying crow a disgusted crow an angry crow whatever you want you can do it you can turn your story you are the director of your story you are the producer of your story you are the owner of your story so we say no flexibility so many hours so many periods no free periods i know with online teaching even your work has increased a lot i know it but i will show you some quick ways to reduce your work so this is doodle storytelling you are telling the story and children are drawing it children are doodling it four corner idea ask them to make to make their plot in four portions they whatever they draw it, it should you should encourage them you should not attendance link uh, yeah now you you see why do they not draw please quickly write down quickly just like this cat quickly write down why do the why not draw why we are not telling in drawing the story why we are saying doodling the story doodling doodle thank you so much my dear sweet lovely teachers why doodle i will tell you because when we say draw when we say draw a, a kind of fear comes in even my drawing is not good i am a science person but my drawing is not good i can copy drawing but by imagining i cannot draw much so doodle when we say doodle it reduce the pressure on children's mind doodle means scribbling so they are listening to the story and they are doodling it Do yeah excellent excellent uh, susha doodle is a little simpler drawing you can say now you have to make your stories vivid do you know what is vivid a sense of fun is missing beautiful beautiful so teachers How to make your stories vivid? अपने stories के अंदर हम लोग जान कैसे डालें? How to put life in your stories? Help the listeners to see the story. You have to <coughs> teachers. You have to make them see the story. That is your work in a deep, dark forest. There lived an old owl. Can you see my owl? The owl was very fat. So you have to write it. You have to narrate it in such a way that the impression of those adjectives becomes very, very deep in their hearts, their minds, their cognition. They they just. listen that word and they imagine that word so that's how you can put your stories writing and presentation you can make it vivid for the children right teachers 
बहुत सुंदर अभिव्यक्ति थैंक यू सो मच टीचर्स थैंक यू सो मच आई वॉन्ट टू सी योर फेसेज आई वॉन्ट टू सी यू अगेन एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू राइट beautiful as beautiful you are you all are beautiful because you are teacher can you express any emotion now if we have talked about a little bit about music we have talked about doodling we have talked about so many other props now if i tell you something to express how will you express i am playing a music teachers can you express various emotions have you ever heard about nine emotion exercises have you ever heard about practice of emotion enactment various games related to emotions please conduct various games and various activities related to emotions teachers and teach your children all nine emotions and you will when you just teach them and they enact them they'll start enjoying reading the stories they'll start enjoying understanding the rationale of the stories they'll start enjoying presenting the stories without any fear of any grammar grammatical mistake any pronunciation mistake any uh, literary device mistake but they should first they should learn to present it right teachers gradually one by one you can you can teach them other things first make them an artist so expressions make a lot of difference i'll tell you about backgrounds also <clears throat> let me finish this presentation it's a very small video i'm so happy i'm so happy to see my chat window but i have to see in the camera yeah so teachers when you write a story when you narrate a story when you present a story there is a point of view the narrator's point of view whether the narrator is talking in first person second person or third person first when narrator is a the main character i am doing this i when i went to the jungle i saw a very different animal first in my person second person narrate it it may be a flash back the narrator is talking about you the story the complete narration the narrator is using you you did, did that third person he she animal story that crow story anything that is third person so you should be aware which point of view you want to write you have to write your dialogues dialogues writing english teachers so many english teachers they he she excellent lubna ansari so uh, beautiful beautiful teachers your responses are wonderful and that is only the the learning outcome that i wanted to see so uh, teachers when they understand the point of view when they understand dialogue writing and dialogue writing starts from class 1 from class 1 2 3 from 1 to 12 they are writing dialogues they are writing summaries they are writing uh, various kinds of creative writing so dialogue writing is a particular topic that you can teach them they can use blurbs they can use various things i will show you through my storyboards 
how they use can they use it dramatize a lot of drama a lot of not and key a lot of craziness is required so when you become a little crazy you feel good when a child dances child dances like that when you become a little bit when you grow and you dance you you are conscious a little conscious that at what other people will say what if i am doing this if i am doing this whatever so when you are you are giving them a lot of practice they all will become very very excited and enthusiastic and if you put enthusiasm in your students in your audience that is the because the content is floating in the net people are taking copying presentations um, videos youtube instagram stories everything people are dying to like they 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 are excellent copycats even i am a copycat i have copied so many things from uh, net and i presented i compiled it in a in a way so uh, teachers you have to teach your children uh, how to become a little crazy how to don't bother about their faces e hey ah ah see dick sometimes you just give them time to shout to laugh and to make expressions facial exercises chinese ah and then they will open up and they learn to dramatize right teachers so these are the importance of narration when they use dialogues proper dialogue they dramatize they understand the point of view they will quickly start presenting their stories beautifully allow them to be themselves thank you ritika singh yeah so teachers i have told you so many things now you tell me what is your story of today what is your story of today's morning you must be having some story of yourself please write in in a phrase or in a sentence what is your story please write one phrase one sentence something my story is very sad i'll tell you after the session in case time allows me scary haunted your original story what happened at your place how the day started anything new yes thank you so much thank you so much teachers for giving responses and i am going to give you one surprise the surprise is that i will give you the complete presentation the word document of the complete presentation because i have seen in every webinar we even i used to take screenshots and the all screenshots like i forget to note down the points so i decided to compile the things and give it to you so that whatever i am telling you you will get it in a same way and that will make a difference so so uh, teachers whenever you will fill the link uh, feedback form after this after the session then only the center team i will be giving them i have already given them my this thing presentation so center team will give you the document word document in which all slides are there exactly same yeah so do you know yourself are you a little crazy or you uh mm, a little serious type or very smiling all the time or very smart and sober or too decent please reflect about yourself write down which what what is your type what 
is your type? Give one sentence. Smiling type. Right? Listening to yourself. Listening to yourself. How to listen to yourself? Listen to yourself when you do nothing. Doing nothing is the biggest work that we rarely do. Decent type. Very nice. Very good. So teachers, reflection is when you sit quietly. After the session, please sit for two minutes. Sit for two minutes. And just reflect about the various events, various things that we have discussed. Listen to yourself. Do you want to learn this? Do you want to change here? Do you want to upskill? Do you want to change your teaching style? Do you want to use stories in your teaching now? Do you want to become a little crazy like me? Yes, I know you will. Observe. Now we have stopped observing things. We only look for our pictures. We just put the screen and we go to attend a wedding. We don't bother about bride and groom. When the picture, when the camera, when the album comes, we just see our picture. This is not looking nice. I'm not looking good in this. Please don't put it on the Facebook. Right? So, observe. When we start observing, we become good story writers. We become good story narrator, story presenter. So try to observe things and keep your moments, your observations, put those observations in your stories to make them more relatable. When you relate to something or someone, then you feel good. And when you don't relate to other people, you just don't learn that thing. So when you observe things, what children like, how children behave, what they do in the playground, how they behave in the online classes, why did they do so, what is the reason for this, you you gradually start incorporating those things in your stories. Right? So knowing yourself is very important. Knowing others is very common. It's outdated now. Uski sari meri sari se zada safed Stop doing this now. And I, I am very sure that you are not doing it. We have very less time and so many things are left. I don't know how will I do that. The time management. Just see. Right? Choose a story, make a mind map, sequence the event, write a script, practice creative expressions. Right, teachers? So these are the five things you have to do before writing a story before presenting a story you have to practice your creative expressions what is the purpose why we are doing this these things we have to persuade the audience we have to persuade our students we have to inform a particular concept a particular moral a particular value to them we have to entertain them so these three things we have to do there are various types of conflicts you must have come across. Character versus self, character versus character. Think a story. Mind map. You have to make mind map.
beautiful so teachers you have to make a plot of your story the exposition the beginning the background information you have to go take your story to a climax kahani mein twist is very important otherwise there is no if there is no climax there will be no enjoyment there will be no fun resolution conclusion of the story story board for smaller children you can write some ask them to write only some words senior children can write sentences very big children they can write a few lines some more lines to make the story board how to begin a story that is very important how to begin a story bold question by asking a bold question by ask with the action with the sound clap tap tap whatever but it should be something different can you hear this i will show you my clock yeah now after this You have to describe a character properly. You have to go deep as for the level of the children. The lion shouted at the mouse. The angry lion shouted at the scared mouse. So you have to increase. What is it? Who are the characters? When did it take place? When did it take place? Where did it take place? why did it happen so let's listen to a story teachers uh simran please can you uh, put me on full screen yeah thank you so much yeah so Can you tell me the title of the story? Title of the story is The Lion and the Mouse. Once upon a time, there lived. a mighty lion in the deep jungle of gir in india one day he did not find anything to eat and had to go to sleep hungry can you make snoring sound He was deep in his sleep. Suddenly, there came a tiny little mouse. The mouse was going up, jumping down, jumping left, jumping right. He was so happy that he did not bother about the sleeping lion. <laughs> The lion woke up and called the mouse. How dare you jump on my head? I'm going to kill you and eat you up. <laughs> the lion laughed looked at the cute tiny mouse and said you may go get lost thank you sir 
One day, the lion was caught in a hunter's net. Help! Help! Oh my God! My friend is in trouble. I must help him out. Get me out of there! Wait, wait, wait! You have to be patient. I will cut the net. He cut the net with his sharp teeth, and the lion came out and caught the mouse. No, my dear friend, you have saved my life. Let's have a selfie. Thank you so much for this story. Now I want to show you. Uh, I have four minutes, and I want to show you one small thing, and then we'll just wind up the session. The first thing I want to show you, you can start your story time with any local, any local instrument that you can use to give them a symbol. Second thing, your time management should be very, very good because in online teaching, so many times the net and the other things they disturb. Now, teachers. The more thing I want to show you, I plan to show you the complete thing, but I don't think so that I would be able to show you. But in future, we will definitely do it properly. This is the setup of Can you see teachers? So this is the way we can do shadow play. Yeah. So there are various things teachers to learn, to know, to... Yeah. Thank you so much teachers. And one more thing that I promised you to show you, I will quickly show you by sharing my screen. I can, can you see my screen, uh, Simran? Not yet, ma'am, no. Okay, so teachers, I have, I have already taken the, uh, giving, giving you, I will give you the links of storyboard, story weaver, then. Ma'am, do you want to show the tale of two cats? Yeah, just, just share uh, that video and that is for senior teachers. That is for senior teachers. Yeah, I think you have two tracks. <laughs> so teachers, how can you teach a concept, a small example I have made for you? Again on center. It was a cool winter night. I was passing through a jungle. The jungle was very dense. It was dark, but I could see by the moonlight falling through the leaves. Coming to a patch of clear ground, I saw something that made me stop. In front of me, there was a tail of four friends. Can you guess what topic I'm going to teach? Please write it in the box. Can anybody guess which, which topic I'm going to teach? Articles. Beautiful. Jyoti, I followed them and saw the paw prints vanishing into a bush. Very curiously, I went closer. Lo, really a cat. A very cute and chubby little cat. And close by, just sat an older cat glaring angrily at the little one. I picked up the cute little cat and brought it home. The cat is really majestic. It walks like a queen. Now, it has 
Africa. My cat. Now. So, can you tell me which is... What will we put in front of this cat? The, a, or an? Now, a small game for, for you to play. Give one adjective as an article. An old cat, the cat. Thank you, Simran. Thank you so much, Simran. You can stop this. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I'll just stop it. Thank you so much, Sava, ma'am, for this very interesting session. I would request the participants, if there are any questions, uh, please put them in the chat box and ma'am will uh, answer them. Thank you so much, teachers, for the wonderful response. I had so many things to show you, but the time was less. You can use some small card on which children can write stories on the particular word. Then you can use story cubes, sky is falling. You can make cards. Any question, teacher? Uh, Ma'am, there are a few questions as to what kind of stories can we use for senior classes? For senior classes, you can use uh, uh, fables. You can use some uh, fairy tales also to highlight some particular uh, part of speech. You can use some legends or some heroic deeds. So you can you can use some simple stories in the beginning. Most of the children should know how to write a story. That is more important because if you find, uh, just search on Google, you will get beautiful writers, you will get beautiful authors uh, on the net. But main thing is using a uh, story bird or any any digital digital storytelling app uh, website they should create a story they should know how to create a story that is more important so you just give them a part of a speech a particular topic a particular emotion a particular genre and on which they have to make a story creating is the most important thing teachers other things are less important if they forget, if they do some mistakes in the, the grammar, their pronunciation, just leave them. Because first of all, if they learn to create, from, come from up uh, Bloom's taxonomy, the top is creating. That has been recognized by our uh, by national education policy, by Bloom, Benjamin Bloom, earlier it was uh, evaluating, and now it is creating. So uh, please, uh, you have to go from, uh, in a uh, teach in a backward design. What is your ultimate goal? Uh, let them create the story first. Topic is not important. Authors are not important. They will tell you better, beautiful authors. Dear Sabha, how can you dress up according to? Two uh, characters. According to the characters, like I showed you my own pictures. I showed you my own uh, headgears. Whatever you can make, whatever, suppose I'm, I'm going to recite a, sorry, a, a few things and you, you keep them for years and years, if you keep them properly. So teachers keep on making something, finger puppet, hand puppet, so many things are there. You just see the do-it-yourself die craft and make your things on your own. This is my hungry caterpillar. I made it. Things are messy. I know creativity is not uh, very this thing. It is. It creates a lot of mess. Just see. 
I made this also. A hungry caterpillar. I make the body also. So teachers, they tie on my hand and the hungry, the caterpillar keeps on eating everything. So dressing up is very important, but in your class, you cannot do it, but you can make, uh, ask the children to get, make some headgears and do some facial, uh, this thing, paint, face painting and so many things and they'll enjoy. Right? So anything else, teachers? There is a question. There are, a, in fact, a lot of questions around how can we use stories to teach mathematics? Yeah. As I told you earlier, using tan grants, using shape cards, I will show you something. Just, just give me a second. Mathematics can be taught by various small stories you can create. On the table, you can create. tell them about sandwiches, various kinds of sandwiches. Sunday, we, we uh, had sandwiches on my breakfast. <coughs> Uh, the, can you tell me the angle of the uh, this sandwich? Can you tell me? So angles and so many other things. These are the these are the small uh, blocks, shape blocks, through which you can teach storytelling. Apps also I have I've told you, Tontastic app, Fairy uh, Fairy Tale app, and so many other apps are also there. Some paid apps are there. Some free apps are there. These are the small <clears throat> blocks, shape blocks, through which you can teach math stories. You can create stories on anything. Any any other question? Thank you, teachers. Thank you so much. And I hope you will uh, implement a few things. If you implement only two things or one thing, by today's session, it would be my pleasure. It would be my, uh, like, uh, I just cannot thank you enough because continuously I could see the chat and I could see the excellent positive remarks. It's not about positivity. It's about happiness that you are doing something. It's sharing. And if you share, if you share good practices, that is the best quality of a storyteller. I'd be a little crazy. That is my small advice to you all. So don't bother about people, how you're looking, what you're, how you're speaking. Oh, I, I spoke this wrong sentence. I repeated this sentence. I spoke wrong, uh, narrated wrong grammar. I did that. My face was looking like this. My camera was not right. Don't bother about this. Anything. Just bother about your point to go home. Drive your point home. Inspire people. Make people happy. Thank you so much, my dear sweet teachers of City Montessori School, of Army Schools, of DPS Schools, uh, and our various schools of Lucknow, Red Rose, LPS. So many people are sitting here. They have registered. They have sent me uh, messages. So uh, this is my request to you all that you keep watching the webinar series. This That is absolutely for free. I am not associated with Center, but they have invited me. They have given me this opportunity. Simran, thank you so much for giving this platform, Karthik and Simran. So teachers, keep Thank watching. Thank you so much, Sabha, ma'am. Uh, we would like to extend uh, uh, on behalf of the entire center team a very uh, gratitude-filled thank you for conducting this session. I think it was very engaging and interesting and completely different from what we generally do in this platform. And it, I think it was quite interesting for the participants as well. And uh, uh, I, I've seen a lot of questions about the uh, uh, the document. Uh, again, like always, if you write to team at center.org, we will share the document that ma'am has shared with us, with you. So I'm posting the email address on the chat box. You can send it to that. The link for the... Uh, the link for the feedback form has been sent to you. Uh, please fill it before 9 p.m. so that uh, you can get... A certificate as well as a PDF that ma'am will be sharing. Please write to team at center requesting for the uh, presentation uh, uh, document and we will share it with you. Uh, ma'am, uh, I think we are oh, anyway 10 minutes above time and uh, I, I see so there's much. a puppet in your hand and you want to say bye bye thank to everyone. You. So bye. Just... Bye. bye. Bye ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye participants. Bye. Ma'am, we'll connect every next thursday with the new
webinar. Uh, please continue uh, registering for more such webinars on m.center.org. Um, m Thank you so much.